Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am using the Rockstar Bundle from our 2024 Spring Mini Catalog. This is a really fun bundle. There is paper and embellishments to go with it. Um, but today I'm going to show you kind of a technique card. I'm using quite a few techniques. I'm not sure if you can see right here, but I've added some faux stitching to my card um, using our perforated tip on the Take Your Pick tool. And I just... I'm, I'm really having fun with that. I did it on a card last week and I just wanted to do it again. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, we're gonna make the little guitar, we're gonna heat emboss and we're gonna do some splatter as well. All right, let's start with our background piece. I have got a piece of basic black that is, oh, I think, let's see, three and seven eighths by five. Nope, three and three fourths by five. We're going to mount it on a piece of smoky slate um, that is just a little bit bigger. There's some measurements and uh, supplies on a PDF on my blog, so make sure you hop over there. All right, so the Take Your Pick tool, I have several of them actually, let me show you, um, comes with several tips. One of them is the putty, one of them is the piercer, there's a, a spatula, a scoring tool, but there's also some add-on tips that you can get, one of them being our die brush. Um, I'm lazy and I don't wanna switch tips, so I bought several <laughs> Take Your Pick tools, but really you just need one and then you can just um, add on the, the different tips. Now, this is a perforating tool and I uh, joked on my Facebook Live last week that um, many years ago, I used one that's made for a quilter and I sliced my finger open. I swore I'd never use it again, threw it away. This one's different. Um, it's smaller. It's definitely not quite as sharp. It has this little guard on it. Um, but the problem that I had when I use it is I put my thumb that way. You can't even get your thumb close to it on this one. So uh, it's not going to hurt you. Um, this I, I think is really designed to put perforation down your paper so that then you, you have like a tear off. Um, but I found that it makes really cool uh, faux stitching. And I, I'm just gonna put a um, perforated line about every quarter inch, I don't know, about for like an inch and a half. We'll start right here about four and a fourth. And one thing I did also, let me show you, one thing that also helped me is if I just put a little score line there, it kind of served as a guide for my perforated tip. And then I just slowly went down that line and it created this stitching. I, I kind of like the back side better. It gives you that raised uh, image. Um, let's see, let me try it without putting the score line first. I'm gonna do it every half inch, not every quarter inch. And you just wanna go slow so that you don't jump that track. And the harder you push, the, the deeper your score lines are gonna be, okay? Um, okay, so let's see, now we'll do one right here. And let's do one more. I'm gonna do right here at two and three fourths. Okay, so there, I just made some faux stitch lines. If you don't have a sewing machine, you don't wanna use a sewing machine, just add in some of those perforated lines. Really cool. All right, now one thing I also did is because I wanted those to kind of pop, I took my embossing buddy and just kind of added some some chalk to it, if you will. Um, there's, it's like chalk in here that kind of keeps it, uh, when you're embossing, we'll use it in a minute to keep the little powder crystals from um, sticking where you don't want them. But also we'll add some chalk. And, and I, you know, I played around with both sides to decide which side I like. That side's a little neater than this side, but I kind of want my paper to be kind of grungy. So I'm just gonna kind of, you know, add in some chalk there to make it look like grunge. All right, very cool. Now, one last thing I'm gonna do. Let me bring over my glass mat. And we're going to do some splatter. Excuse the lights, I know it's kind of weird. Um, here is, this is a, the really cool glass mat you can get during celebration when you purchase the starter kit. It comes with this little um, silicone mat also that's great for watercoloring for whatever your uh, messy kind of things that you're gonna do. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this, and then I'm just gonna splatter. I'm hitting it on the tip of my finger like that, okay? All right, now I am gonna set that aside and let it dry, and we'll work on the other parts. Move the whole thing out of the way so we don't get that where we don't want it. 
All right, let's stamp our guitar. Um, the guitar, I'm gonna stamp in, oh, <laughs> look at that. A dyed dimensional backing fell right out of my memento black. I am going to stamp it in memento black because I'm going to color it with a uh, blend, stamp and blend. And you want to use your memento ink when you're using your alcohol markers. So I'm gonna use real red. And I'm gonna start down here. Um, it's really not difficult to color. Um, I colored it several times. I actually have, I think, five total projects for you this week using this bundle. And each time I, I colored it real red, just because I like red. But one of the cards I have also used, pumpkin pie and daffodil delight for the, the guitar. So, you know, I mean, really, the sky's the limit when you're coloring the guitar whatever color you feel like, go for it. All right, so I'm just carefully trying to make sure I stay in the lines. And we'll color all the way in. I'm using the bullet end. Now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm just gonna go around that white part to add in a little bit of shadow like that, okay? And then I think I'll switch over to the brush end and just kind of flick that color outward. It's gonna kind of blend it out into that lighter color, and give us like a little bit of shading. Okay, now we'll use our matching die to cut that out, but before we bring the cut and emboss machine, let's do the sentiment as well. We're gonna stamp the sentiment on basic gray, and again, I'm using my embossing buddy for its intended purpose this time. It helps release any of your static that you may have, um, which will hold the powder in places that you don't want it. All right, your rock star in Versamark. It's a clear ink, you may not be able to see it. I'm gonna put black embossing powder. Tap it all off, there we go. <laughs> And let me take my, let's see if I could, I've got one little crystal there that I don't want. Let's see, I also have a thinner paintbrush. I like to keep this little skinny paintbrush around so I can knock off any of those little, those little granules if they're sticking to where I don't want them. Now I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool for about 10, 15 seconds, and then we'll cut it out as well. All right, you'll know it's done when it's all shiny. We've got a coordinating die for that. And I'm also gonna use the stars and some silver foil. Let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And let's line them up. Because I spent so much time coloring, I don't wanna screw this up. So I'm gonna use some uh, post-it tape to stick that down, make sure it doesn't slide around. And same thing goes for uh, the sentiment. When you heat emboss your paper, it gets warped a little bit. And so if you use your post-it tape, it'll hold it down in the right place. And then our little stars. All right, let's run it through. You know what I feel like? I've already bumped this out of the way. Now it looks okay. Maybe we need an extra piece of tape since it's long and skinny. Post-it tape can be found on Amazon and it is fabulous. It will not tear your paper and it holds your dies in place just like a post-it note would, but it's, I don't know, it's just a little bit easier to use. All right, our dies are over here. Let me get my take your pick tool and get those off. Brush them off. You're gonna want all three of them here in a minute. All right, let's take out our guitar and our sentiment, and I think we're ready to put everything together. All right, I have a basic gray card base, 
and we'll bring back our splattered piece. I think it's all done. Look at that, fabulous. We're gonna adhere it to a piece of smoky slate with um, stamp and seal. Just big enough to mat it. All right, and then I'm gonna use dimensionals to add this to our card base. Like this. And we will attach our guitar to a uh, radiating stitches rectangle, basic white. And we're gonna add some Wink of Stella before I forget. All right, let's see, I kind of put it at an angle and we'll take the Wink of Stella. That's just gonna make it a little shimmery. Wink of Stella is so easy and fun to use. Add, add glitter without making a mess. All right, we'll add this on to our card, also with dimensionals like that. More dimensionals for our sentiment. You're a rock star. I love that saying. That's one of my favorites. All right, and then we'll just add in some stars with our liquid glue. Take your putty end of your take your pick tool and lay those down. Carefully. Now I also have a piece of basic white. I'm gonna carry over that guitar design on the end side of my card. And I'm just gonna kind of lean it there to the side. I'm not gonna color it. I'm just gonna leave it. You could color it if you want, but it also is just fun to carry over that design a little bit. All right, there you have it. A pretty easy technique filled card using the Rockstar Bundle. Um, I hope you'll take a look at the catalog. There are some really cute samples. Make sure you go back to my blog. I have five really, really fun projects, I think. I had a lot of fun with this. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.